Good afternoon. This is Sean. Thank you so much for clicking on to my channel. All right. So happy Sunday. The sun is finally broken out here in Northwest Indiana, Chicago, and I am headed to Illinois for some fun food and friends. I'm gonna be uh, going to Papa Do's in Illinois. So I am so, so excited. Woo, Papa Do's always has good food and I'm just in anticipating good fun with my girls. So I was on YouTube late in the morning. I saw a video of Fabe. Oh my gosh, Fi Babe, looking like a little beautiful black Barbie doll. What? She got good old long hair with some honey blonde dresses in there and a cute little top knot. And I was like, ooh, okay. She is getting ready for the Queen Supreme Court. I have been tossing and turning on going. I, I really, I, I just know it's gonna be a long night. I gotta get up in the morning. And I'm just feeling like I'm gonna hate myself. I'm gonna hate myself for it. Although I really, really wanna go because I really would like to see what the Queen Supreme Court is live and in color. But I just know I'm gonna be hating my life. You know, I could do that when I was 23. Get up, stay up all night, and I would still be dying, but the bounce back was much better. Tomorrow I gotta deal with taxes for my job, for my work, and um, Oh, you know, I gotta have I gotta have a mental state of mind. So I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I, I hate the idea of hearing it from other people and literally she is in my backyard, you know. But no one's gonna feel the pain but me, so I don't know. But I got inspired by Phi Babe. And uh, I decided to put my hair up in a ponytail and uh, just did my eye makeup, which I don't ever do, but I have eyeliner on and I put some lashes on. This is the most you're going to ever get out of me because makeup is not my thing. So, but you know, I'm just trying to get a little cute for the celebrations. And uh, yeah, Five Babe. Five Babe had this beautiful, like, cobalt blue nail polish she's gonna look gorgeous for tomorrow's event she is camera ready waiting for her close-up and you know audition girl you could be sitting next to maddie uh, on the uh, queen supreme court and i saw uh, duchess kelly love was on his way from wisconsin oh people are crazy uh, on his way for the brunch so yeah that's it I tried to go live that wasn't working so I was like oh great so I'm gonna do this quick video I might try to go live again because I'm early I'm supposed to be meeting my girlfriend in her house at 420 and I'm early so I got my coffee and maybe I'll try to go live I don't know if, if I'll have better reception but um, I wanted to talk about something really brief and it's about negative self-talk. And in honor of uh, yesterday being International Women's Day and it's Women's History Month, I wanted to talk about the negative self-talk, the things that we tell ourselves, the tapes that run in our head are either we pick them up because a lot of us have negative self-talk from our childhood maybe we weren't the prettiest maybe we weren't the golden child you know maybe some sister or cousin got all the attention and you may have either internalized situations with negative self-talk or you were flat out told something and now as an adult, you no longer have to hold that. But like I said, sometimes we let people live in our head rent free and your brain is, a, is, is, is hot commodity. And so nothing should be in your head 
your brain is good real estate and nothing should be in your head that you did not pay good money for in experiences and life lessons you should not let people rent upstairs free okay that is not what a good landlord does okay if you're going to come in and enter my space into my property there's going to be a cost and a lot of us myself included I'm, I, when I'm when I'm saying this I'm also saying this to myself because you know these things are a constant work in progress because some of the things that we are told as little girls run deep run deep and if you are a black little girl it's really deep um, there, there's so many layers to this that I can't even give it the proper time but I just want to give you just a little nugget and maybe this will be a great Wednesday night live you have to know that you are worthy and you are valuable in life that you were put on this planet for a reason that you have purpose and that should be enough but I also know that we are human and we want validation we want validation from from people who love us who we love and that's not always the case the first thing of dealing with negative self-talk is self-love. They go, it, you know, Joyce Myers has said a, 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 a said a quote, and there's been other quotes like it, but you can't be pitiful and powerful in the same, you can't operate pitiful and powerful in the same space. You have to pick one because at any given time, you're either operating out of fear, pity, or you're operating out of confidence, out of power. And no one escapes it, really. But you have to have a strong sense of self. And I'm saying this because it makes me cringe. My heart breaks for women who are self-deprecating. Who, who say things to dismiss themselves. It, it hurts my heart because I'm like, girl, you're better than that. You're more than that. You're worthy of so much more. But no one is going to do that for you first but you. You got to get the love for yourself. You know, whatever your higher power is, you got to know that you are the daughter of a king, of the high king. Whatever that higher power is for you, if that's something you believe. And you got to do something that I have found that has helped me tremendously. It's in scripture, but it's also practical. I like practicality because I don't care if I go and I sit in a church. How can I now leave here and make this work in my life? That's, I'm practical. I, I, I take the emotional out of it. I just want to know how can I apply this to my, my life? And it is renewing your mind daily renew your mind daily that there has been so important a game changer for me in my life renewing your mind daily well what does that mean renewing your mind daily that means that you have to always always channel and challenge the things that you say to yourself You've got to feed your mind. You've got to feed your brain. Then you have, then there you end up feeding your spirit and your soul with good food, good energy, good words to yourself. I am valuable. I am loved. I am thoughtful. I am caring. You know, you've got to decide what those things are for you that you have to tell yourself to set the intention about the person you are. So when someone comes and tries to attack you, try to attack your integrity, try to attack who you are as a woman, you've already fed it to yourself and you can, you can just dismiss that. Because I always believe it's not who someone calls you, it's who you answer to. All right? So, you know, I do know that words can hurt. Nobody wants to be called names. But... It's how I interpret how someone calls me that matters. And I think if as women that we are able to do that for ourselves, then we will have boundaries. 
that we will have healthy relationships with uh, romantic partners, that we can deal with family because we've established boundaries and boundaries is also an act of self-care and self-love. And it's never too late. It doesn't matter if you are 14, 24, 64. The great thing is that as long as you are up and breathing, you have the chance to flip the script and change that negative self-talk. Because we all have tapes in our head that when things happen and only you know what they are, you start playing those tapes. And sometimes those tapes go on all the time. And studies have shown that most people take in and embrace negative talk more than they take they take in positive talk, which is the reason why you have to renew your mind daily. So, I hope this uh, helps somebody. Um, it sounds like a great topic that we can do on Wednesday night, Wednesday night live. And uh, I will be back with some food porn videos. So, uh, showing what I'm eating and my girls are eating at Papado's. So, I hope this helps somebody. Take care of yourself and each other. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.